I'm Professor Hazel Surf, and I'd like to welcome you to Getting Up to Speed in Biology. What is this course about? This is for you if you are trying to fill in a sparse or distant background in biology. It's been a while since you studied biology and you'd like to get up into a more modern time. This is for you if you're preparing to take a college level introductory biology course, for example at MIT or another college. And this is for you if you're trying to get insight into life sciences for your own interest. Let's talk a little bit about biology today, which is really fantastic. The thing you may know is that everything is made of these tiny building blocks called cells. This is a video from my own research group. It's a picture or a video of the developing brain in a fish. You can see the red dots, which are the nuclei of the cells, where all the genetic material lives. And you can see that every cell is surrounded by a green region, a membrane that keeps everything intact. Everything is made of cells, and everything comes from a single cell. It's amazing. You can look at a beautiful bird or a creepy spider, a family of polar bears or sea creature, and everything has come from a single cell. Really fantastic. Here's some other things to think about in biology. There are some animals that can regenerate their body parts if they are cut in half, or a limb is severed, they can grow one back or they can grow back a new body. Planaria, flatworms, are like this. Professor Redeen at MIT studies these and has made some real insights into thinking about or into understanding how flatworms regenerate their bodies. Maybe this has got something to do with helping humans regenerate body parts when there is an accident or a disease. We can think about life in the oceans. Proclococcus is the world's most abundant bacterium in the seas. The oceans are full of this small bacterium and the function is really not understood, but likely has something very important to do with the health of our waters. Professor Chisholm at MIT has discovered and has studied this bacterium, most recently finding that it is making thousands of different tiny proteins that it is secreting into the water. And the function, again, is unknown at this frontier of biology. There's huge interest in the diseases that we get and what causes them and how to use state-of-the-art techniques to cure diseases. In this example, Professor Yilmaz at MIT has been thinking about what we eat and how that influences the types of cancer, for example, colon cancer, that we get and what we might do to address cures that use brand new breaking technologies to make people better. And we can think about life as part of the engineering spectrum, how to make new things. In this example, Professor Bata uses DNA constructed into particular scaffolds of particular shapes to do interesting engineering things. Here, this scaffold can harvest the energy from light, a completely new way to get light-sensitive energy sources. All of this adds up to the excitement that is the background for this course and for biology today. So let's go back to the question of whether this course will be useful for you. It will be if you have never had high school biology since you were a freshman, let's say. It will be if you need a refresher class before you can go and take an introductory level biology class at college. Are you still not sure? We have a quiz that you can take and you'll figure out whether or not what we would teach you in this class will be useful to you. Welcome back to Getting Up to Speed in Biology. Now that you have taken the quiz and have decided that this course will be useful to you, let me tell you a little bit more about it. What's the content of this particular course? It is a short course that comprises five lectures that are arranged in a modular form. After a few minutes, the lecture will break and there will be some practice problems that you'll be able to access and 
work with the concepts and the ideas that have been introduced to you. So you'll get plenty of expertise in each of the things, in each of the modules that you go through in every lecture. The topics of the lectures cover some of the greatest and most important concepts in biology today. They're titled Molecules of Life, The Cell and How It Works, Information Transfer in Biology, Inheritance and Genetics, and Building with DNA. Welcome to Getting Up to Speed in Biology. I look forward to working with you as we go through this material together.